Hi there, this is Handstand by Cheryl. Wanted to do a video today on adhesives. In case you are stuck on adhesives, like I know some people are, trying to figure out which ones to use when. So I wanted to show you the current Stampin' Up! catalog for 2021. And inside, on page 162, you can see all of the different adhesives that are offered. So I'm gonna walk you through them and tell you which one is my favorite. And then later on, there will be a video on how I store my adhesives. So check that out coming in January. And if you ever wanna stock up in adhesives, you can use my website, which is handstampbycheryl.stampinup.net. And every month I have a host code. If you use that, I will send you some happy mail. So here's a little helpful chart that tells the differences between all of the different adhesives. Because again, it can be confusing to know which ones to use when. So we have one called the Fine Tip Glue Pen, which is actually not my favorite. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But that is recommended for small embellishments, glitter, and detailed die cuts. Like something like this. Okay. Then we have foam adhesive strips that look like this. And basically I use these to make shaker cards. That's going to be the best use of it. But the chart says on cardstock and paper. Then we have mini glue dots, which are best used on everything except glitter and 3D objects. And the reason being is because we only sell mini glue dots. And so you, if you wanted to put on, let's say a button or a 3D object, you would need more than one mini glue dot. Then we have multi-purpose liquid glue, also known as green glue. And that is one of my favorites because as you can see here, you can use it on pretty much everything. They recommend not ribbon, although I have used it on ribbon before, but there is probably something better for ribbon. The Stampin' Seal and Seal Plus are our new adhesives, and I'll talk about those in a minute. But we came out with these um, when the new catalog started in June, and this seal replaces our snail that we had for many many years um, but it is a little bit stronger than our snail and it also um, has a little bit more in the dispenser and so therefore it's a little bit more expensive then our stamp and seal plus is stronger in adhesive and so this is sort of replacing our fast fuse and again it's faster than our fast fuse but I like this because it's perforated, as you can see here, and so it's an easy tear when you apply it. So I'll show you how they all work, but the, you can see the prices here. I actually really like these adhesives. Then the Stampin' Dimensionals, which I use on every single card, they're saying is used for cardstock, paper, large embellishments, and ribbon. And then the Terran Tape, which you might be familiar with the old red tape, the tear and tape is far superior because you can tear it as opposed to the red tape where you had to cut it and that can be cumbersome as you're trying to make a card. So they say cardstock and paper, large embellishments, ribbon, glitter, and 3D objects and accents because the tear and tape is very strong and so it will hold up over time. So this is just a helpful chart um, for suggested use. Now I'm going to go through the catalog and just show you them individually. So adhesive sheets come in a pack like this. There are 12 sheets in here and it's six by 12. This will go a long way and these cost $10. Um, so in the past, we used adhesive sheets made by Sizzix and so I still have some uh, made by Sizzix here. Um, I'm still trying to finish up that pack before I move to the Stampin' Ups pack. But basically the best way to use this is when you're trying to turn something into a sticker, okay? So you'll peel off one side sticky and one side's not, so you get rid of the knot, and then you apply the stickiness onto a particular piece of cardstock, whatever you wanna turn into a sticker. And then when you run it through the um, stamp and die cut machine, you would put your dies on the top the, the sharp part facing down on the cardstock, and you would run it through, and then when it comes out, it turns these words into a sticker rather than trying to use um, like a glue to adhere them. So I love adhesive sheets. If you haven't tried them yet, you definitely should. 
Now the fine tip glue pen costs seven dollars and it comes in a bottle that looks like this and it's a good glue I just don't like the dispenser as you can see it has a very fine needle tip point here and the glue that comes out is clear and I do like the glue however I don't like the bottle because it's hard especially when I use it in a class setting for people to put the the cap in it's like a needle that that goes in there to make sure that this uh, doesn't clog and so I ended up buying these bottles on Amazon and I just transferred the Stampin' Up uh, fine tip glue over to these bottles but to be honest with you these aren't any better so I've actually stopped buying this glue but if you have some in your stash and you're getting frustrated like I am you can actually um, you know if I have if you have some empty Tombow glues you can take the Stampin' Up fine tip glue and fill this so you can don't throw away the glue is basically what I'm trying to say um, but the reason why the fine tip glue is good is if you can get it to come out in a fine tip that's great but otherwise it's also just a clear glue that when it dries it looks like epoxy so if you take an image here let's see if I can get it to come out this is what I'm talking about so you would normally need like your um, you would normally need like a paper piercer or some kind of tool to try and get this to come out here and this is why I don't use it very often because these bottles just clog up so I don't have a paper piercer at my easy disposal here but once I can get it unclogged it's it's sort of like the old crystal effects if you ever use that adhesive it's it's really fun to play with because it turns it turns whatever you're adding the glue to into sort of like an epoxy okay and you can smear it around like this yeah okay a little bit too messy for a lot of people but <laughs> if you can get the dispenser to work it actually is very fun to play with because it, it will add dimension and it will make these flowers way more interesting now it will take a while obviously for this to dry so I'm going to set this aside Maybe I'll do the leaves since I got so much on here. So this functions as a glue, but it can also function as an epoxy. And another product that we sell that's on the same page 162 for all of our adhesives is our silicone craft sheet. And this is six dollars. You have to have one. Um, it's just a great non-stick surface so that if you ever get glue um, around, it's going to be on here that can easily wash off as opposed to on your work surface so let's move into uh, the multi-purpose glue this glue is only four dollars and it is one of my favorites it is a white liquid glue and it has two different tips it has a small tip that would come out like this but then it also has a thicker tip on the other side which I hardly ever use but in case you needed more flow you can go this way with it okay so the silicone craft sheet is great because if you're ever doing a project where you can you need to apply a bunch of glue but don't want to make as much of a mess you can just put it on your silicone craft sheet and then I use our Stampin sponges that come in a circle and then I cut it into I think six but you could then just use this okay to then stamp your to add adhesive to like your um, fine dies that you you've punched out and you want to apply onto a card okay so you can see how that's a faster way than trying to use the point to go all the way around okay now one of the suggestions that I have with this glue is that you always want it standing upright so that when you go to use it you don't have to go like this to get it to come down into the point and so one of the gifts I gave my in stampers team uh, at our last get together was this cute little jar it's actually a salt and pepper shaker and I got it at the dollar store and then I just decorated it with a piece of designer series paper put a ribbon at the top and then put everybody's name on it so everybody got one but it's just a great little jar not only to hold it but it's 
got a purpose, and that is to try and keep the glue facing down so that when you go to use it, it is ready to use. Okay? The next adhesive I want to talk about is the mini glue dots. And the mini glue dots come in a roll that, let's see if I can actually take this apart, um, and then inside a box, right? And that's great, except it's not as easy for me to use. Okay, so I can't get it open right now, but <laughs> this dispenser, I got it like Michael's or whatnot, it's made by glue dots, and it just holds our Stampin' Up rolls so that when you need to go get a glue dot, it's easy to spot this hot pink dispenser on your workspace. It stands up, and then when you need a glue dot, you can just rip it off and you have what you need there to apply. Let's see if I can find something to apply here. Okay, and then you can just take it and go upside down, push the glue dot down, then pull the paper away. It's not coming off my paper very well. Um, you know why? Because these are probably sort of old and have been sitting out for a while. And the reason being is because I don't use these very often. So let me tell you why. Because I have been a Paper Pumpkin subscriber since day one. And if you've ever subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, it's a subscription kit where you get everything you need inside the kit to make various projects. And they always give you glue dots. So look at how many glue dots I have from the various Paper Pumpkin kits that are left over and extra which I love because when I teach a class, I just throw one of these sheets into my bucket for the cards to make and I don't have to, you know, have multiple, you know, pink dispensers on every single table. So I highly recommend Paper Pumpkin for many reasons, but that's one of them because you'll never run out of glue dots. But you can buy the roll if you want and those cost $5.25. The next adhesive is Tear and Tape. And like I said, this replaces the um, red tape it is seven dollars and you get 27 yards and it's basically a strip and it's perfect for ribbon so let's get this out of here okay so if you have some ribbon and you're trying to put it down on a project you just rip it which is so nice and then you can put it on your ribbon and then when you go to apply it you just peel off this next backing and then you have the adhesive on it and it, it sticks like a charm. So definitely recommend it for ribbon as well as some other 3D projects. So for example, this uh, designer series paper that I put on the glass, I use that tear and, ta tear and tape to make sure it's stuck well. Okay, the next one let's talk about are our dimensionals. So we sell three different kinds of dimensionals. The mini dimensionals, which are $4.00. The regular size dimensionals, which are also $4, and then we sell a black combo pack. So the black ones are good for projects where you don't want the white poking through if you've got a darker card. And the black ones are $6, and it comes with a combination of the, the mini and the larger size. I don't use these a whole lot. Um, I definitely stick to these staples. Um, but again, you can buy them each in a pack of for four dollars you get three sheets of each in there or when you subscribe to paper pumpkin you also get a bunch of these so i have lots and lots of sheets of dimensionals that come in paper pumpkin um, so it's another way to stock up on your adhesives but these are great for popping up an image so i'll be making a card here soon and this is a punch out of some acorns and whatnot so it will definitely just adds dimension to a card by putting those there okay let's talk about foam adhesive sheets our foam adhesive foam adhesive sheets are new this year and they are eight dollars and I think you get six sheets of this size in a pack and they are great um, for putting on a colored piece of cardstock or a white piece of cardstock and then using your dies to run through the die cut machine and then you can see here, it just pops up whatever. So instead of putting a bunch of little dimensionals on there, it will pop up the whole thing. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a fun look, especially when you're using letters. So definitely check those out. Um, the other 
the other adhesive is the, um, we already talked about foam, the adhesive strips that are great for making shaker cards if you want to shake anything fun. And then, yeah, l lastly, let's just talk about the new Stampin' Seal in Seal Plus, okay? One of the things that I like about these is that the dispenser is the same. So if you ordered one dispenser and then you ordered the refills of each of them, they are interchangeable. So you can just take one out and put the other one in, but the dispenser is the same, okay? So the Seal Plus is the darker blue and the regular seal is the lighter blue. And I feel like it's a great adhesive, but there is a little bit of learning curve. I've had a couple people tell me that they couldn't quite get it to work for them. So here are my suggestions on that. First of all, when you adhere something, I should probably get a different sheet of paper that's longer. When you adhere something, you don't wanna to push too hard, just a little bit, um, not too much pressure. There's a space here for your pointer finger, but my pointer finger doesn't get all the way down there, so mine just goes about right here. Um, it's, it's not necessary, but it is can be helpful if you want to sort of check off so that you're breaking the adhesive because this is not perforated, okay? Occasionally, you'll find that the adhesive is further back in there and you need to use your finger to just sort of roll the tape up a little bit to the point where the adhesive comes there, okay? But the practice comes with doing it repeatedly so you're not having to always use your finger, okay? So I just do it a little bit like this. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's coming off no problem. I wish I had another piece of paper longer to show you, okay? So once you put it down, it sticks no problem. Now, the Seal Plus is perforated, so you won't need that at all. I'm gonna find a piece of paper in all my mess over here. Let's just use this. So when you go down, you don't really even need to check off because it's perforated. I don't know if you can see that. It was just, it's easier to tear off. So my suggestion is to just try and do it lightly and then check off and you'll have no problem. But if you do have a problem, you just need to use your finger to go up a little bit. But I love them. You can always come over and try them at my house, at my events. I have at least three events a month in Indianapolis. And so I'd love for you to join me. But if you need to stock up an adhesive, um, don't forget to use my host code for the month. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. But I'd love for you to like comment below in this video on your favorite adhesive to use and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching happy crafting